so it's hard for me to say this to you because you're so unusual in your concept of what you think you've been doing here. But let me explain to you underneath the law what you've actually been doing here. You've been sexually assaulting someone. Now is that going to sink in or are you going to still struggle with the fact that when you put your hands on someone in the middle of the night who's asleep and you just decided to start cutting their beards out of your immaturity and your age of 13 where you're obviously stuck in your heart, soul, and mind, you have totally availed yourself of losing your rights under the law. You see, you committed a molestation under the law and you've also committed a mutilation under the law. Because that beard on that gentleman there was grown for many reasons. And he's only going to publicly tell a few. But what I understand is that he grew that beard over the course of a year for his faith. So you've already committed a hate-based religious crime. A hate crime on religion. It didn't matter to him what your reasonings were for cutting his beard all the time. But you've created a hate-based religious crime. You've also created a hate crime, crime against gender because that man is obviously male and you are a female officer thinking that you have the right to put your hands on someone in the middle of his sentencing and tie his beard in a knot and then attack him and assault him every day after that with your friends who are gay. At this point, whatever he has or doesn't have in terms of his situation is not your business. It has nothing to do with your job here. You failed yourself when you failed to recognize federal law here. No one provided you that information. You took that information and abused the law here. At no time did that man need to strip down for you so you could take photographs on your cell phone here. Your lie is that you thought you had the rights to abuse someone's body here. And your failure was to recognize that he has human rights here. And at no time do you as an officer and a female officer in our court have any right to make that man undress in front of you under the law. You should have taken him down to processing and allowed him to hand his property to the property manager. So where the hell is his journal? Where the hell are his clothes? Where the hell are his metaphysical things? And why didn't he receive his bags back from jail. You're the bailiff in a courtroom. Bailiff Oliver, you had no right to participate in that. And things got progressively worse for him the first time he was here. A female officer stripped him and under the federal laws that govern his birth certificate and his life on the licenses he carry, you had no right to do that. What you should have said was, do you have anything else on you that might be setting off this detector? But she didn't do that because of her immoral standards of wanting to see him naked. And it wasn't her right to do that. You see, each officer along this process has failed completely to recognize the law on licenses and birth certificates. Then your people thought you'd steal his birth certificates, the four that he had for his upcoming nuptials, and destroy his motherfucking life because of your ideas about life here. Your Lieutenant Lackis failed himself and availed himself of immature behavior. He put an immature 18-year-old child named Moreau on his traffic door. As a JTO, a jail traffic officer, he failed himself at age 18. Now he and that man started to have cordial conversations through the window, but for the most time that guy was always at worry about, am I going to get some fucking food here? Or are you going to leave me another overnight without any food in this cell? You should have never put him in solitary. He had no reason to be there. And your abuse with that Muslim, little Karen Andrews, or whatever the fuck your name is, put you in jail. You had no right to psychologically attack that man's life and force him so that he cannot stay in control of his sleep at night. You lied to yourself about your rights to do that. He wasn't in your jail for those reasons. At no time did you have the right to interfere with your nursing staff in his rights to his medications. You practice malpractice in that regard because you are not a physician and you practice malfeasance in your job because you're not allowed to do that. But your officers, what's his name, Joshua, and your other officer, Jimmy, 
availed themselves in every way, and your female officers kept trying to open the shower door on him. That woman saw him. It's why he didn't like her. Because her attitude is, I am going to do what I like here. No, you're not. You all have violated the law in the duties of your job. And each and every one of you are available to be counseled, not at all, to be court-martialed under the law. You also could end up in jail for sexual assault. When you tied that man's beard in the knot, when you shaved his body without his consent, when you allowed those female officers to do that, when you shaved his genitalia, you fucked yourself and committed sexual assault. 